Okay, so I was at Super One in Marquette the other day and picked up a few habaneros, and I also had some Hungarian wax peppers, which are, I, I don't know if there's a distinction between banana peppers and hot banana peppers and banana wax and Hungarian wax. Um, I just, I've done a few videos of banana peppers, and including one from Super One, but this one I thought was really intriguing. Very creamy, yellowish, whitish, greenish, very light colored. Um, it looked different than other banana peppers I've tried, if only by a little bit. So I decided to do a, one of this. Just bust off the crown. Well, this is a pitfa. So, yeah, Hungarian wax. Right off the bat, tastes just like a, not just like, but mostly like a, bell pepper, but not not really sweet. Faint sweetness, but after that, Nagamorich. This tastes a lot more watery, as it were. Um, a little flowery. No heat kicking in so far. Definitely got the vitamin C tang underneath. Good flavor. Or maybe I just felt a little heat come up my nose. Mm -hmm. A little bit of heat kicking in on my lip now. It's a chore to chew one of these things. The skin's a little bit thicker. The flesh itself is medium thickness. Not too bad, but the skin itself is... Maybe that's why they call them wax peppers, because the skin, it's a little tougher. It's not extremely plasticky, but it is... Especially when you got a lot of... The pepper itself is really juicy and watery, so when you start chewing it... A lot of that water prevents your digestive enzymes in your in your saliva from trying to break that down, and it's hard to chew it. You can see quite a few seeds in there. Banana peppers usually have a lot towards the top here. Although probably per volume, I'd say that... Um, the cherry bomb peppers probably have the most. Oh, heat's starting to a little bit. I feel a lot more on my lips. Again, I think it's because I'm talking while I'm eating it from my saliva. It's all under my lip.
Mm-hmm. Last bite here. I get more of the flesh or the pith, the foamy center part. A little bit more. It's a really low level burn though. Almost a corn like flavor, cornmeal like flavor. Mm hmm. Still there. Hmm. Mm hmm. Yeah, faint tingling on my tongue. Nothing going on in my throat at all. My mouth has got a faint eddy of warmth, but it's way, way in the background. My lips are burning a lot more than anything, and even that's fa fairly mild compared to the Nagamorich burn. Well, obviously, most peppers compared to that are pretty mild. Um, but it's, yeah, it's pretty low level. Overall, upper level of the lower part of the scale, I'll say, for my lips glowing. Um, and so, excuse me. Yeah, pretty low level. Uh, last year I made of an omelet with one of the, these wax peppers. Uh, and that worked, that turned out really well. Added a nice pepper flavor uh, with minimal heat. It, they, there is a bit of variance. I've had a banana pepper that's a lot hotter than this, but this one in particular, uh, I don't know if the color has anything to do with it, but that was it. Hot banana wax pepper, Hungarian style. Pretty low on the heat scale. Might hit the lips a little bit more, but in... And anything else negligible.